Hello, Sunshine. I have got a Timu haul for you today. And if you have made a resolution to try to lose a couple pounds and watch what you eat, Timu has the thing for you. So come on back and join me. sunshine and how are you today i hope everybody's having a blessed day everybody's in good health and feeling well because we have some excitement coming i've got a little bit of everything in the hall today and as i promised i have something that's going to help all of us especially me especially me i need to cut down on my portion control <laughs> I can't help it. You know how southern cooks are. We just love to eat because we cook so good. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come on and sit down with me. If you're existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I do enjoy your support to this channel. We have grown so much and I just love reading the comments and everything that people leave me and I feel like I share a little bit of my life and get a little bit of yours back and it's just so exciting. It's just so exciting. God has blessed me with this outreach and I just want to continue letting it grow. I had a rough week this week. Did you notice I didn't post any videos? I was back and forth to doctor's appointments and really didn't have any time. But I want to get back into my Bible study. And I've got some collaborations coming up. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to have fun? But today, we have a Timu haul. So sit back. Get you something to drink. Relax and prepare for some fun. Fun, because that's what we're going to have here on this channel. That's what we do. We have fun. So, I have something new for you. I got my new backlight in, so I hope y'all see a difference. I told you it was coming. It finally came. I think the holidays just held up shipping for everything. In fact, I just got something yesterday that was supposed to be here by Christmas. And it wasn't from Timu. So, can't blame Timu. So, I'm telling you. But, I hope this new light helps you. I don't know why you want to see me clear. I can't believe you want to see me clear. But, hopefully it'll show the products a little bit clearer for you when I show them. And, as usual, everything I show is going to be down below in the description column. Just click on the link. It'll take you straight to the item. You don't have to go to an order and hunt around and this and that. It goes right to the item that the description's beside. Now, sometimes I abbreviate my description, but I try to follow along as I show the item. So, and below all of the description of the products that I'm showing is my farmland and fishland game. So, if you want to come play farmland and fishland game with me, come on. Love to have you. Love to win that free stuff. Don't we all? Don't we all? Yes. So, before we begin, my trusty Timu Cloud. And, let's start. Got a few new things to Timu this week. I know y'all have been seeing these Noki boards. These Noki boards and these pasta boards. Well, let me tell you, don't get intimidated. Because it's so easy to make. Well, I like this. Look at this. Look how it stores in the back. Alright, we've got our handle. Just pops in back here for the stand. And yes, I'm feeling better. Got my nails back on. Got my nails back on. Alright, so this just snaps in. You want to have it sitting at an angle. 
All right, so you've got your rolling pin snaps right here in the back for storage, and then your little board. Okay, now this can be used for gnocchi or handmade pasta. Now, don't, don't get intimidated because it's not hard to make. You see the grooves in here? That just helps you to roll it and get air. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to mix up, mix. Okay, example, if you want to make gnocchi, gnocchi's very easy. You use potatoes, just soft mashed potatoes, put a little bit of flour in it to stable them up, one egg, salt them. I don't pepper them at this point, just salt them. And you want to also salt the water because you're going to boil gnocchi to cook it. So all you're going to do is just, you can either roll it on here in little pieces. So you just take like a little half a teaspoon, put it on here and just roll it down till you get your shape and drop it in the water. Or you can just use this to roll it down and drop it in the water. Now with gnocchi, it doesn't take but a couple minutes to cook because you only want to cook it until it floats. Once it floats, it's done. Now, some people take their gnocchi and crisp it up in a pan with a just a, a I mean a smidgen, smidgen, smidgen of oil. And some people just serve it once it floats. It's totally up to you. But little gnocchi pasta board. And we know how to make pasta flour, eggs, salt, leavening. And if you don't, just shoot me a question. I'll send you my pasta recipe so we can get that. Now, those little gnocchi boards come complete with everything you see there. They're $2.99. Now, they call it a gnocchi board, but it'll make pasta, rigatoni. It'll make any of your pastas or gnocchis. I mean, it's a great little device. Folds up very compact, stores all your utensils right in the back. Love it. Now, this next little thing, where was this all my life? We've got our good pots. Now, I store my lids in a lid holder, so I stack my pots. Well, we know we've got all those fancy finishes and stuff on our pots now, and we don't want to uh, get scratched. These are pot separators. Look at these. They're just real thick felt. And they come in different sizes. Got two of the larger ones. Two of the medium ones. And then two of the small ones. So this is more than enough to stack a whole set of bakeware. Or, you know what you could use it for also? Your Pyrex bowls. Your Pyrex bowls will stack in here too. $1.88 for the whole set. They'll keep your bowls from scratching, clattering, your pots and pans. $1.88. Cent. So, these will go in my pots and pans this afternoon. I'm really excited about these. Keep them from getting scratched. Keep my Pyrex bowls from breaking. So, I really like those. Now, these. We have our pots and pans set. And we have lids on them. But you know yourself. Sometimes those lids get hot and you've got to use a pot holder or your dishcloth that you're wiping your hands with and drying your hands with. Look at these old things. Look. Made of silicone. 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 <laughs> silicone. And you put them right on top of your pot and you can just grip the lid to pull it off. Especially if you're boiling something. I mean, these comes two in a pack. It was $3.19, but these are really thick, really sturdy. And y'all know I get green. My kitchen is green, so don't be surprised. <laughs> so, yep. There we go. I like those. I hadn't seen these before. These were new to me. Hadn't seen these before. So, I'm real excited about those. Now, you know me and my sponges. Whoops. Trixie down there making noise. Y'all know my Trixie. If you've seen any of my videos, you know my Trixie's my dog. 
this I saw. But like I said, y'all know me and my sponges. I don't keep a sponge long. I, I don't believe you can clean the sponge to sterilize it good. So, this one, real cute. Look at that. Little chicken. Looks like it's sitting in the egg. Look at that little thing. Little scouring sponge. But this is not a real, real stiff one. I mean, this one's going to be one that's going to get soft. It'll still sc clean. It'll scrub. Do anything you want it to do. But look at that. But isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Dollar eighty-eight. Look at that. Just sit on the side of your sink. You know me. I love my sponges. I love my cute little things. So I thought that was really cute. Now, this. This is what I was telling you in the preview. And y'all know that I'm on that Coumadin. And you have to watch your diet. No E, no A, no K. No soy, no. Diet is so tight. I mean, diet is so tight. So, I met with the dietitian to go over what I could eat and what I can't eat. Well, let me tell you, I did not realize how many things have vitamin K in it. Chicken, beef. So, you have to watch what you eat, keep things consistent, and this and that. But, I guess I'll be eating a lot of fish. Well, I found out, and I should have known, Southern Cook. Y'all can look at me. I am not a skinny minute. Far from it. I'm a happy, healthy girl. <laughs> so, after meeting with the dietitian and going over the diet for the Coumadin, well, my portion sizes are a little bit bigger than they should be. Surprise! <laughs> and I think some of us get away from that on our portion size. I mean, I don't use a di big dinner plate. I, we eat off salad plates unless it's, you know, a big meal. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> but, found out my portions are too big. You know, meat's supposed to be the size of the palm of your hand. Well, my palm of my hand's not very big. Or either my stomach is really bad. <laughs> so, Timu has this. Now, this little thing here is a portion control. Now, this is about the same size as a salad plate. Not a dinner plate. Salad plate. Now, here, it says one cup, one cup full. A half a cup at line. So, if you can see inside here, there's a line halfway up for a half a cup. This is one cup. Now, it says in here, vegetables or fruit. So, you put either vegetables in here, have two vegetables or a vegetable and a fruit. Over here, it says starch. So, you're going to put your starch. And then, this section here is left open for your protein. So, this little gadget here from Timu, now it costs $3.14, it's good sturdy plastic. I don't see where I would put this in the dishwasher, not even on the top shelf, but this shouldn't be hard to wash. I mean, you're not going to keep food in it, you're just going to, you know, guide. But, if I can follow this, knowing... That I probably eat a whole cup. And I probably only need a half a cup. Now, the first few days going to be rough because my stomach's going to say, Where's the meat? Where's the beef? <laughs> What's that old commercial? Remember that? Where's the beef? So, it's going to take me a little bit to get my stomach back down. But I'm going to try this at a half a cup. And the meat... Now, that, my palm of my hand is not that big, but we'll, we'll, if it's fish and something like that, we can have a little bigger portion. I think beef really is the only thing that is high in calorie. But this little thing, I'm going to try it. But I'm telling you, I should be able to lose weight with cutting my portions down and sticking by this little thing. So, 
for three dollars and fourteen cent i'm gonna give it a whirl so y'all can follow me on my little diet i'm not gonna call it a diet because it's just a a, a cut back it's a cut back on our um portion control so portion control because I, I i'm not into diets i like to eat i'm a southern girl but portion control so thought that was real cute now oh my gosh these two little gadgets and i know y'all seen them all over timu this one goes over your microwave check this out you can get them in different patterns I just got, let me see the pretty little sunflowers. Daisies. They said sunflowers, but don't they look like daisies? They look like daisies to me, too. But it goes over top of your microwave. And on the sides here, let me fold it in half so y'all can get a half view of it. On the sides here, where it's hanging down, so picture this top being on your microwave, and the side's going to hang down. And look, it's got two pockets. Now, you can put your kitchen scissors in there. You can put some of your favorite utensils in there that you use all the time, your paring knife, whatever you want. So, actually, not only is it looking cute to cover your microwave, but it's giving you some extra storage that's tucked out of the way. And this little microwave cover was $1.99. And like I said, it comes in all different colors, all different patterns. But isn't that just the cutest little thing? So, I'm like, okay, my little paring knife can go in there. You know, my little meat thermometer can go in there. Just little things that are easy to reach, easy to get to. So, I thought that was really, really cute. And for that price... Give me something to cover it up on top. Because right now I've got like a little doily on top of it. So I said that would be cute. Now this one is made for your refrigerator. Now I've got my trifle bowl and my glass cake bowl on my refrigerator right now. Now look at this pattern. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, y'all know my kitchen's green. Okay. Now, this fits the refrigerator. So, picture this over the top of the refrigerator. I'm going to fold it in half like I did the microwave one. And I'm going to fold it again because it's big. Because remember, it goes over a refrigerator. But look, in this one, you have one two, three pockets to put little things in. I mean, just think about it. Even a little memo pad to write notes, you know, honey ran to the store, you know, your children's little magnets that you put their little pictures and stuff up on the refrigerator. Store anything. Anything. And this one for the refrigerator was $2.34. So, I mean, things are very inexpensive, very nice, practical gifts to help decorate your appliances, plus extra storage. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. You know how I feel about win-wins. Love win-wins. Now, got a few little helpful gadgets here. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know where you are and where this snow front is going to be coming. But this is something that I got to keep in my car. Because I noticed last week when I went to the doctor's office, I came out when I was driving well by the time i got to the doctor's office it was raining i did not have the right shoes for the rain no, 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 no. so my shoes got wet i mean it just it started raining so hard it wasn't supposed to start until five o'clock well tell them it started raining at two o'clock 
So, these are little shoe covers. So, basically, it's a latex glove for your shoes. Now, these are reusable. Now, this is what you have. And can you see the little... On the bottom, it's got that rough, so they're not going to slip on you. They're rough on the bottom. They're shaped like a shoe, and they're going to stretch. They're going to stretch. And if I would have had these in my glove box when I got to that doctor's appointment, I could have slipped these things right over them. And my shoes and my feet wouldn't have gotten wet. And they're going to stretch almost clear. So, I'm not too proud. I'd rather have kept my feet dry. Because it was a cold rain. I'm telling you. It was a cold rain. These little shoe covers are $2.48. And they have different sizes. I got the large. Because I want to make sure they... I'd rather have them a little bit too big than skin tight. So... But, yeah, little raincoats for your shoes. So, I thought that, I, I really liked that. I thought that was real cute. Now, y'all have seen the covers for your keychains. Got another double bagger. Got another double bagger. Well, I mean, not for your keychains, for your keys on your keychain. Well, I have the ones... And I have one key that the key is made so I can always pick it out easy. But I've been going in and out my side door a lot. So I wanted to get something for my side door. Look at this. It's a key cover. And it looks like a little kitty cat. Now they have cats and they have dogs. Different colored cats and different colored dogs. But look, it slips right over the top of your key and the key go you of course take the chain off and this little cat cover was 89 cent so now i will have that side door key marked with a little kitty cat on my chain so it'll be easy to get to when i'm coming in the house and coming in that door i don't know why i started using that door all of a sudden but i do i don't know <laughs> I'm a strange one. Now, this little gadget only costs 48 cents, but it's going to save me some fingernails. It's just a little... I have a fancy dancy at my desk letter opener. But a lot of times, you know, my husband will bring in the mail and I'm sitting in the den and my lazy boy, being lazy, watching football or something, Love my weekend football. So, just picked up this little letter opener. Just a little teeny 48-cent letter opener. Just to stick in the drawer of the end table by the lazy boy. But it's just going to make things so much easier. And like I said, save my nails. It's all about saving the nails. <laughs> well, it's also, too, about paper cuts. Because right now, with being on the blood thinners and stuff I have to really be careful so yep just got me a little thing so I'll put that in my drawer over there if I won't have that now TV besides football on the weekends racing's over so besides football I don't watch a lot of TV I really don't. I'm just not into... I, I don't know. I just don't watch a lot of TV. I, I mean, I watch cooking shows, home decorating shows, you know, things like that. But primetime shows like that, I just don't watch a lot of. I do like, you know, murder mysteries, and I'll watch some movies on Netflix or things like that. But, so, I have been on bed rest a lot and I'm bored of TV I have extended my daily meditation and scripture reading and I have also decided to start reading books again 
So I picked up this little bookmark. It's 49 cent. But when I read a book, I highlight sections that I think are meaningful or stand out or something that I want to share with somebody else. So this is elastic. Perfect size to go right over my book. And it's got a little slot right here to hold the handle. I'm, I'm look like I'm going to go grab highlighter right now. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless to stick the highlighter in there. So the highlighter is always attached to my book. So I, I like that. And like I said, it was only 49 cents. Comes in many different colors. But if you read books or study books like I do, I have one in my Bible with my Bible cover. But when I'm sometimes reading, you know, self-help books, inspirational books and like that, I don't have that with me. So I said, well, let's just stick a little highlighter in here, wrap it around the book, and I've got it so I can highlight sections to share. So I thought that was really neat. Then I ran across these. Wished I would have had it about a month ago when my husband spilt his Pepsi on the end table. These, and these are new. At least new to me. I hadn't seen one team in before. These are remote control covers. There's ten in a pack. Let me get one off. They're just like the basket stuff. It's shrink wrap. You just put it over your remote, use a hair dryer, and it shrink wraps right over top of your remote to keep it waterproof. Dark proof, dust proof, you get 10 in a pack. They will not affect the buttons, how you use them, or anything else. But if something gets spilled, it's not going in that remote. You will not have to buy a new one like I did. <laughs> uh, so, 10 of these for $1.93. So, I am going to shrink wrap all of our remotes so if something gets spilt on them or if something happens to them we are protected I like that I like the idea of having that now it's winter time so we're pulling out our sweaters and we know sometimes our sweaters get little fuzz bunnies on them we know this. It doesn't matter how careful you are. You'll get them on the arms from rubbing against a desk. Or you're going to get them somewhere. So this little contraption. Let me see. Is a lint shaver. Now. Let's see. Open Let's see if we can get this out because the brush is in there. Does that come down? Does that come out? There we go. All right, it takes two AA batteries. And I'm not sure how this pops off. I'm really not. I thought it would just pop up. Because it doesn't pop. Okay. It pops out. <laughs> it just slides out. And you get a little brush. Clean your head. This is a metal head. So this is safe. This is a metal head. And just clean your head. And you got a cover to protect it when you're not using it. And all the lint will fall in here. And like I said, you just slide it on. Okay, well, it slid off. Let's see if it'll slide on. Okay, it slid off. Let's see if this will stay on. Okay, and then the batteries. 
go in here. You know, to be such a little tiny lint thing, it sure is getting complicated. All right, now we're all put together. So, but what you do is you've got your on off switch and there's little blades underneath this metal and you just rub it across your sweater and it'll shave off all those little dust bunnies. Now, you don't want to do it over something that's got a thread or if a snag has come through. Now, we all know if you get a snag on your sweater, you need to pull it through the underneath side. Never cut it. Never try to pull it. Always pull it through the underneath side. Now, that little sweater lint shaver was $2.60. I'll show you what the box looks like. But remember, the link to everything I show you, of course it has stickers. But, yeah. but the links to everything that I show you will be at the bottom. So it'll be listed under Lint Shaver. Now, this next little thing I couldn't resist but to get. And I'm going to stick this in the glove box of my car. For $2.20. Yes, you heard me right. And these prices I got this morning. $2.20. Look at this. Use my trusty dusty blade to get it up. Alright. You've got your handle. You've got your handle extension. Lock it in. Am I screwing it the wrong way? Is it left to loosen? I'm going left. Okay. In tight. Now, look at these bits. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 30. Look at them. You've got everything from a regular screwdriver to a Phillips screwdriver to Allen's. Look at all those. 30. So let's just say I just need a little regular screwdriver. Take this out. Click this in. And I got a regular screwdriver. $2.20. Now, I've given the big ones to my husband. I'm going to just push it down. Push this down and let it loose. Given the big ones to my husband before. But this little one, like I said, is going in my glove box. Because you never know. I mean, I could be visiting my grandchildren and my daughter-in-law needs something or my son needs something or my daughter needs something. Or, you know, you never know. $2.29. Nice little case. Whoops, well that fell out, but still. Nice little case. And 30 little tips of screwdrivers and Allens. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Now, now we got some cutesy stuff cutesy stuff. Band-Aids. But they're not real Band-Aids. I know. I know. Just little sticky notes. But look at them. Aren't they cute? They're dupes for you know what. But aren't they cute? Just little memos. Just write little memos, little sticky things on. Dollar thirteen, but I'm finding I always need little sticky notes for something, or to write on something, or so I never can have too many. Now this, oh, this is so cute. 
Now this is going, now this is a rub on cling, rub on cling on, yes. <laughs> I had to get that right. Look at it. It goes over your face plate for your light switch. Little kitty goes at the top, so it's peeking over your light switch. And then at the bottom, you've got his tail and his little bottom feet. Isn't that so cute? Little kitty cat plate cover, 77 cent. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was so cute. So this is going on my office on my switch plate. I just thought it was so cute. Yes, I have a problem with cats. Now, I know y'all gonna tell me it's late in the season. It's too late in the season to get this. Well, I don't know about y'all. But Monday afternoon, they calling for snow to start and snow on through Tuesday here. And I like after season stuff because that's when you get good deals. I think you get good deals. So I want to show you for $7.20 what I got. I'm trying to get it straight because y'all know how it gets squished in the box. Look at this. Look at this little snowman. Is he not so cute? And I have brown wood in the den. He's going to be so cute sitting in there. Look at his little hand. Look at his little hat with the pom-pom on it. $7.20. I mean, look, he sits. He's quality. Good heavy size weight to it. Good stuffing. I mean, he, he's quality. Little carrot nose. Little carrot nose, little red cheeks. Is he not adorable? I mean, he really has quality to him. I like him a lot. $7.20. Y'all know, a month ago, I couldn't have touched him for that price. So, as long as they're calling for snow, and as long as the temperature's going to get down to 10 degrees, I'm going to have my little snowman out. A little fuzzy, little fake fur on top of his boots. Isn't he just adorable? Love me some snowmen. Y'all know I love snowmen. That's what my house is decorated with. Still is decorated with snowmen. It's still cold. Now, I locked up. This was in stock. It's not in stock right now, but I'm watching. And as soon as it comes back in stock, I'm going to do a little short video to let y'all know. This is one of the smart watches. This is a dupe. This is the real dupe. So as soon as it comes back in, I am going to do my little one minute dupe to let y'all know and send y'all a link. This is the dupe. So let's open her up. Let's see if she come with any charge. No. Alright, let's see here. Put the bands on. Alright. This one's blue. I got it from my grandson. Okay. I don't want to take the screen protector off. No. Dead or a doornail. Dead dirt on a doornail. Mm -mm. Nothing. Well, I will charge this up. And I will keep this on hand. And as soon as it comes back in stock, I will use this as a demonstration piece for when they come in stock. In fact, I am going to keep this didn't come with a recharger. Hold on. Oh, 
is it? Insert USB. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe this one goes directly into the USB by the thing. All right, I'm going to keep this in here, and I'm going to keep this right in here in this cubby in my desk. And as soon as I get notified, I will let y'all know by doing a video. But I only paid $8.95 for that one. So, yeah, we got to get y'all on that. Now, oh, 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 we got some jewelry. We got some jewelry. We got some jewelry. Let me get my jewelry holder. Let me get my jewelry holder. Get it all set up. Get it all set up. Now, if y'all remember a couple hauls ago, I hauled an hourglass necklace. Mine just wouldn't work. So, I got a refund on it and ordered another one. This is the other one. I had someone send it to me and tell me theirs work. Just had to work it out. I tried to work. That thing was welded shut. So, let's see if this one does. Oh, yeah, I can tell this one's going to. I can tell this one's going to. Oh, yeah, this one's nice. This one's really nice. Okay. All right, let me hang this thing on here. And let's look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Let's get it. Whoops, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it out a little wider here and here. And then bring it up here, over here, so you can see the clasp. Because I want you to be able to see the clasp and the necklace. So I'm going to wrap this chain around here. And this chain around here. So we get a good height. I love this little thing. There you go. Now you can see. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> well. All right. I'll hold this back here. Okay, so here we go. Now this, as you can see, turns here. And this turns here. Look at that. See? That's how the original one was supposed to do. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that pretty? And you've got the hourglass. And let's flip it over. Oh, those sands go pretty quick. <laughs> they go pretty fast. I'm glad it's not a real hour. <laughs> it would never be enough time in the day. But it's really pretty really pretty and it's got a little weight to it it's got a little weight to it and this little hourglass necklace was only 89 cent look at that how it turns you can see how it's opened and how it spins I mean this is going to be nice with a high neck sweater that's going to be real pretty. I like that. Now, let me get this next set fixed up here for you. Y'all know me. If I can buy a set, I'm going to buy a set. Because I just think it's so much more practical to have matching earrings to your necklace. But that's my old school self. Remember I told you? And I shopped at the old, old department stores back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. 
Yeah. We wore different types of jewelry. But, I was telling you about some of those collaborations. Oh my goodness. You wait and see some of the jewelry that I am going to be showing you. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous. But, I have got some Good collabs coming. But this piece right here is just gorgeous. I mean, it's got a little blue hue to it. It's got a little black hue to it. It's got a little silver hue to it. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Let's see if I can back it up a little. I want it up here. Look how the light hits it. See what I mean? Black, silver, blue, gray, and the matching earrings. Is that not beautiful? And this set was, 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 was $2.54. Now these are the post earrings. These are post. And speaking of post, you know how sometimes they come with just the little rubber post? I don't like those. They don't give me enough support when I'm wearing a post. So I ordered for 44 cent, big 44 cent. Hey, how about me being a big spender? Hey, big spender. All right, look at these. I got 50 of these. These bags. Look at the support they're going to give. See how wide they are? So they're going to give that wide support and keep that post from leaning 44 cents. Got a whole big bag of them. So I like those. So I got this set and I absolutely love this set. Love this set. Are y'all seeing that light behind me? That's the sun coming in the window. It said it's going to be windy today. I guess the clouds are blowing by. <laughs> I looked up and I went, okay, bright, dark, bright, dark. What are they doing? We're supposed to have it wind advisory today. But remember those beautiful um, wind chimes that I hauled? I bet you they're going crazy out there. Now, this is a gorgeous set. In fact, this set is something I could wear today with my greenish teal shirt. And y'all remember I hauled this a couple hauls ago. I love it. I love it. And then I have my Timu earrings on. I don't know if we can put French hooks in this. Do we know if we can do that? Let's try. Oh, yes, we can. Now, this set reminds me of oyster shells. And whenever I think of oyster shells, I know this may sound strange to y'all, but whenever I think of oyster shells, I think of the Holy Land. For those of you that don't know, before the Romans invaded the Holy Land and started putting the pavers, stones, on the roadways, the roads of the Holy Land were made of ground-up shells. In the towns, they were made of ground-up shells. And they'd get the oyster shells from the Sea of Galilee and the Mediterranean Sea. And they'd grind up the shells and they'd put them on the roads and in the towns to keep them from getting muddy and everything. And that's what the Holy Land, that's how the roads were done. And that's how the roads were done in a lot of the countries. So, I, I just, when I, I see a shell, that's what it reminds me of. But look at this set. Now, this is a green set. Now, this is the French hook earrings. Can you see the colors on that? Isn't that a beautiful shell? See what I mean? It's an oyster shell. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Now this set was $2.20. And look at that beautiful snake chain. Beautiful. Beautiful chain. I mean, trying to get it to shake a little bit so you can see some of the colors. I mean, like I said, this would go beautiful with what I'm wearing today, the colors. But, so that was your history lesson about shells being roads. <laughs> you know me. I got to throw in a little tidbit in all the time. All the time. And if I can throw in a biblical tidbit, that makes it even better. Now, this is just a cute little neck. Ooh, ooh. This necklace is a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping to be longer. I mean, it's long, but look at this. It's a peanut. Look at the bling bling on that peanut shell. You see that bling bling? And look, peanuts are too... Look over. Look over, bling bling. We want to see the pearl peanuts. Look at that. Plain, simple, just very, very elegant. I think it's beautiful. Dollar and 34 cent. I always think pearls are elegant. I always think pearls are elegant. Dollar and 34 cent. Remember what I told you about pearls? If Jesus compares pearls to heaven, we're doing all right. Pearls must be a very beautiful, perfect thing. I do love studying the parables. Now, these are one of those Timu things that they look better in the picture. I, 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 I probably will donate these. These are hoops, a little bit bigger than I wear, and they just have little gold hearts on them. But it's just not my style. So these will go in my donation box. And I will get these donated for the holidays. And these little things, now only 98 cent. 98 cent. Now, all right, fess up time, confession, who has a child or a grandchild that likes Spongebob? I know you do. I know you do. I like Spongebob. This is a BFF ring. And if you know Spongebob... You know what the BFF ring is. Let's see if we can get it open. All right. Now, these are supposed to stand up. All right. There's SpongeBob. Let me get Patrick up here. All right, Patrick Star. Get up here. All right. So, you've got Patrick. That just fell down. No Patrick. You're supposed to stand up. <laughs> Patrick. And then you've got Spongebob. <laughs> okay. They don't want to stand up. I, I'm trying to hold him at an angle so you can see that. Alright. Let me hold him here. Alright. you got Patrick and Spongebob. And then a compass in the bottom. But there they are. Best friends forever. Patrick and So I got this for my granddaughter. Now you're going to say, oh, your youngest granddaughter? No, my oldest granddaughter that's almost 16. She loves Spongebob. Always has. Always has. And this little Spongebob ring was $1.38. One, one of my most expensive pieces of jewelry. A Spongebob ring. <coughs> Mercy. 
Marcy. Got some silver earrings. I love silver. I'm wearing silver now. But I don't. I love silver. I love to wear silver. But when I think of silver, especially getting close this time of year, I think of Christ and his betrayal. Look at that. It's supposed to be the tree of life. Ooh, that's shiny. But his betrayal by Judas Iscariot for 30 pieces of silver. And we think that's sad, but we know he had to do it because, and these little silver, 79 cent. Look at that, 79 cent. Aren't they pretty? See, I like the dangly ones like that. But if he wouldn't have betrayed Jesus, then Jesus wouldn't have been able to fulfill his destiny of dying for our sins. So we can be forgiven. All we have to do is believe and repent. And we all know what repent means. Change our ways. These earrings are not going to fit on this. And these earrings are a little bit heavier than I thought they are going to be. And I'll probably donate these too. But these are the hooks. They hook in like this. They're a little bent. I have to get my husband to fix them. But there they are. I mean, they're real cute. They're beautiful silver. Really, really nice. But it's just not my style once I saw them. But they're real pretty. They're real pretty. So. Now. This is something new to Timu that I've been staring at and couldn't get it in my cart fast enough. Now I have a tennis bracelet, but it's a very expensive tennis bracelet and I'm always scared I'm going to break it. Look at this one. Let's see if we can adjust it. Okay, look at this. First of all, at the ends, you have the two stones hanging down. Oh, hold on. Got a little bend to it. I have to straighten it. There we go. Look. Just a real thin. Yeah, see that little bend? Probably have to get my husband to straighten it. A little thin line of diamonds. But look at that clasp. Look at that clasp. All right. Let's get this bad boy on. I'm excited about this. See if I can get it on and tighten it by myself. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I'm getting it. Come on, get up there. Get up there. At least it's easy to do. So I'm just moving slow, but I'm getting it. What is the tortoise in the hair? Slow and steady wins the race. All right, well, that's close enough. Look at that. Let me turn over. See that? Isn't that beautiful? But look at that clasp. That clasp is what I love. And look at the diamond stone too. Isn't that beautiful? And this little tennis bracelet was two dollars and sixty nine cent. Trying to get it where you can see the stones. There we go. You shine? Aren't they pretty? Now this is something that I can wear and wear every day. Like if I was going to the store or going to the doctor or going out now, I'd gladly wear this. Gladly. I'd take a little more time though and tighten it down. A little bit more. But isn't that beautiful? I like it. I like it. Alright. 
Now, let's pamper ourselves. Let's pamper ourselves. I had some lipsticks on sale. Well, not lipsticks. These are called lip glazes. Now, these are non-stick cup. These are supposed to stay on. These are not supposed to, if you drink coffee, these lipsticks are not supposed to stick to your cup. Let me open both up. They're both by the same company. They're just different colors. And they were both a dollar and 49 cents. They're by a company, MCD, Lip Glaze, ooh, can you see that? Lip Glaze, Non-Stick Cup, MCD, ooh, a silver, it's just so hard. All right. One of them is a number nine. The other is a number, I believe, three. Yes, three. But we're going to look at the colors. I went from one extreme to the other. Yep, I got a one for a date night and a one for an every day. All right, waterproof, of course. Here's the packaging. So you can tell which is every day and which is date night. So let me get my little box of tissues here. Let's move the bracelet down. Let's check out the everyday. I don't know. How, okay. We have an applicator. Okay. Everyday. Okay. That's given a feel of a mauve. That's a good everyday. All right. Let's check the dinner night. Dinner night. Whoa. That looks dark on there. I'm not sure. Whoa. It's nothing like a berry. But I like them both. What do you think? You see a mauve and a berry? <coughs> I'm sorry. I still have pneumonia in my chest. Ugh. I like both of those. All right. Now, they're cup proof and waterproof. How hard are they going to be to get off? Oh. I guess if they're wet, they're... All right, bracelet, get out of the way. Well, if you get it off when they're wet, wet, they're not too bad. But as soon as some of them dries... <laughs> Yeah, as soon as it dries, it's not coming off, so I'll probably have to get alcohol to get that off. But that's cute. I'm happy with those. I'm very happy with those. Very happy. The darks look dark in the tube, but I think it came out real good. I like that. $1.49 a piece. Now, this next. You've seen me haul facials and skin cleansers. Cleans, skin cleansers. <laughs> <coughs> I've talked so much, I'm starting to get overheated. So, excuse my cough, please. Alright. This is a compound avocado foam facial mask. And this was $2.15. Now, what I liked about this, this is supposed to have 15. Let me see. Three, six, nine. Oh, it only has 12 in it. It has 12 individual face masks in this box. 12 for $2.00. And 15 cent. You can't touch that. You can't touch that deal. So I'm real happy with that. Real happy with that. 
And I've used these before when I've gotten them individually for like 79 to 99 cents. And in fact, these are the ones I gave my granddaughters in their little gift bags. Their little cosmetic bags that I put all their spa day stuff in. Those of you that haven't seen my spa day video, you've got to go check that out. I mean, oh my goodness, that was so much fun to make. We did everything for a spa day. That, that was absolutely great. So, now, this... Is something I'm excited about. I hope it's gonna work. This ah, comes with a USB charger. Okay, got a one off button. Oh, it's charged. It's got your misting hole here. Let's see how we get this off. This is your chamber to put your water in. So you put your water in here. Put this back on. And it's a face mister. Yes. It heats the water up and mist your face. This is going to open up your pores. Oh my goodness. Just cleanse your face. It's basically like a face massage. But it's a little face mister. It was two dollars and fifteen cent. Well, I can show you the box, but as usual, the stickers over the box. Moisturizing setting makeup moisturizer. And that's the side. It tells you what it does. But I thought that was so neat. I mean, I've seen them battery operated at the dollar twenty-five store, but this is the first one I've seen one two dollars and fifteen cent that's USB. So I was very excited about that. So I'm happy about this. So we're gonna try our little wash our face and try this, and then we're gonna put our little cream on moisturizer on and. <sighs> Be good to go. Now, speaking of moisturizer, it's winter time. Now, we know we have to put lotion on our arms and our elbows and our legs, but a lot of times in the winter we forget our feet. And you know we do. Don't be looking at me funny. Uh -uh 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 -uh. You know you forget your feet. And I walk around with socks on or slippers on. I forget my feet. Oh. Oh, this smells good. I smell a little hint of lavender. These. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These are foot socks. Therapy. They're very heavy. And I'm going to tell you why they're very heavy. Because inside these socks, they've got a gel. Yes, a gel. These already have the oil, the nutrients, the smell, the massaging, everything in them for your feet. All you do is pay $3.99, slip, slip resistant, get these socks, put them on your feet, and let your feet go to la-la land. Oh my goodness. And they smell so good. And the socks are very soft. Socks are very, very soft. But they smell so good. I can't get over how good they smell. So, tonight, after my shower, and after my facial, I am going to give my socks and my feet are going to meet each other. And they're going to have a good time. So, yes, very excited about these. I mean, your feet are tired. You've been on them all day. Just give them a break. I mean, and from what the ad was saying, I'll let you know. But from what the ad was saying, these are reusable. It's not something you go throw in the washing machine and get rid of all your chemicals. No. 
I mean, I'm going to wear them tonight, take them off in the morning. I mean, I'm not planning on walking around the house with them. No, these are something you put them on at night before you go to bed, take them off in the morning, and then put them back on. I'm sorry. They smell so good. I just can't stop smelling them. You'll have to forgive me. Oh, they smell good. Mmm. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, now, got a few cutesy things. I know y'all seen this. And I had to get it to put by my coffee station. It's a coffee cup. But it's not an ordinary coffee cup. It's not an ordinary coffee cup. A little smaller than I thought it was going to be. But how many times have we said that? Sometimes we get to say it's a little bigger than I thought it would be. Look at this. I'm trying to hold it in my hand steady. Look at that. Is that not adorable? Isn't that going to be neat? I mean, anybody's coffee bar? Look at that. $2.98. That's all. I mean, look at that. It's your splatter. Your coffee splatter. It defies gravity. <laughs> it defies gravity. Is that not the most adorable little thing? I, I'm, I'm just... I saw that and I said... I looked at it first and I looked at it and I said, what? But I think that is so cute. So... Every coffee station, every coffee bar needs a little coffee cup. I love it. I love it. So that's going on my coffee bar. Now, y'all have seen me haul these blankets before. This is the last grandchild's blanket. I've gotten pizza. I've gotten dino nuggets. They give you a nice little storage bag for it. I mean, nice little storage bag for it. But I've gotten pizza, and I've gotten dino nuggets. So, I asked the last one, what do you want? You ready for this? Let me back up a little bit. Now, granted, this isn't a huge blanket. We know that from the other ones. But I want you to see it, if I can get it the right way. <laughs> I'm not good at reading backwards upside down. Now, as one of the viewers sent me a message, they said this was a Chihuahua blanket. But they like the size, so this is my Chihuahua blanket. Not that I have a Chihuahua. I have a 95-pound Trixie. But this is for my granddaughter. Ramen noodles. Isn't that cute? But these blankets, they're small, but they are very soft. And, I mean, if you're sitting in a chair, sitting on the couch watching TV, these are perfect for covering your legs. I mean, just absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Good size for that. Good size for that. Good size for that. So, I'm, I'm, she's going to like that. She's going to like that. Now, this... Oh, I didn't tell you how much the blanket cost. $6.78. I'm sorry. Now, this is another one. Smaller than I thought it was going to be. So, I don't know if she's going to use it or just store stuff in it. But, let me open it up. See if the strap's in it. She saw this and wanted this. The strap's inside. Let me... It's a little kitty cat purse. Okay, we gotta thread the strap. Hold on. It's a little kitty cat purse. And it is a little kitty cat purse. I mean, if you've got a little granddaughter, I'd say six or under, this would be absolutely perfect. And it does come in different colors. I mean, it's like ten different colors. So, th this would be absolutely perfect. And it was only $1.97. So, I mean, you can't expect much. So, it's a little kitty cat purse. I mean, it's cute as it can be. A little flower on the 
zipper. It's got little cat ears. It's pretty good size inside. I mean, put whatever they need. Like I said, under six, perfect. 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 Oh, that's cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. Very cute. Now, again, y'all know how much I love Timu socks. Got me a 10 pack. And I'm just going to pull one out because y'all have seen me haul these before. Wonderful socks. Fantastic toes. Look at that. Heels. Look at the elastic here. I mean, and they hold up to washing, washing. My only problem is my granddaughters come over and they end up taking them home with them. So I have to keep buying me more. Ten pairs of these right now for three dollars and twenty one cent. Ten pair. 10 pair, $3.21. And remember, these prices were gotten this morning. $3.21. So, I'm ready for them to come visit again. <laughs> I'm ready. Come on. Take my socks. I got a few extras now. <laughs> now, you also know that I've told y'all a good time to do shopping is in the off season. Look at this little shirt. It's a black shirt. And I paid $5.47 for it. Okay? This little shirt, rounded neck. But look at these sleeves. Look at the design on the sleeves. I, I, um, now, my fashion show's coming up. I'm just trying to get myself where I got a little more stamina so I can change clothes and, and show y'all and whatnot. So, it's coming up. But look at the design on these sleeves. I mean, look at this. I mean, $5.47. You know, if you wait closer to spring... You, you know, I could be able to touch this for $5.47. So, I'm going to So, then I got this one. Now, I did pay a little more for this one, but I had to. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. I paid $8.98. The, that one is more of a lightweight cotton. This one, they're all polyester. We know they're all polyester, but... Now, this one feels like it's got, no, 100% polyester. But this one is going to make a nice little tank top. And look at the colors. Look at the colors on that. It's got a lot of stretch to it. But look at the colors. I like the buttons. I like the buttons. It just gives it that tailored look. Isn't that pretty? But I promise you, fashion show's coming. I've got so many videos. I'm so far behind on my videos. And I apologize for that. I'm just trying to get my health back up to where it was. But we're done. That's it. So, leave me a comment. Let me know if the new ring light helped. And let me know what you saw in the haul that you liked. And... If anything brought you any ideas or what you thought and I will do my best to get out some more videos and get things rocking and rolling like we used to again just going day by day Lord's will we can do it again but remember the most important thing is to have a blessed day and know the Lord watch between me and thee. 
while we are apart from one another. Genesis 31, 49. Thank you.